These days, the holy grail for designers is to deliver a truly interactive experience where riders become part of the story as well as the action. Ride films are the latest rage. At Universal Studios, the new Simpsons ride has a cutting edge simulator and video system that links up to 140 monitors and two 80-foot IMAX screens. They've engineered the drops, twists, and turns of a real coaster with Homer and his family interacting right alongside. At Six Flags, the latest Batman ride, Dark Knight, uses high-tech video, sound, and special effects to bring guests a one-of-a-kind dark ride experience. Riders are even turned into citizens of Gotham City as they venture through demented hallways of twists and turns. But when you want to glimpse the future, you go to Disney. They're the proven masters in thrill ride development. With Toy Story Mania, Disney has achieved a totally unique virtual environment. Call it a ride for the Wii generation. It's like a computer game on wheels. They have no idea the amount of technology that is behind the scenes. So if you have ever wanted to be inside the screen, here is your chance. Riders enter the world of Buzz Lightyear, Woody, Bo, and Toy Story's other iconic characters, gaining points by shooting at 3D moving objects. The ride is a carnival experience, interacting in a fantasy world of toys to get the best score. You'll throw pies, fire darts, and chuck rings while objects come flying towards you. Just like in a video game, each ride is unique and different. Computer processing power on this ride is so big, it can directly interact with every person. For Sue Bryant, Toy Story Mania's show producer, the storytelling was paramount. The idea was to try and let the guests actually enter into the world of the Toy Story movies, but as an honorary toy, so we want them to feel like they're at toy scale and they're in this world with all of these great big toys and you know objects that are in Andy's room. You want it to feel real, so all the materials, the plastic and the cardboard, behave the way they would if you were actually shooting little baseballs or little into the games. This is the world's first 3D interactive ride, where the line between animation and reality blurs. But Disney didn't stop at 3D. To really immerse the rider, they brought in some 4D effects. 4D means riders might feel wind, heat, and water, making the ride come to life even further. You shoot at something, it does something, it comes towards you, the 3D glasses, the audio comes towards you, and then poof, you're hit by something. One of the challenges was creating the technology behind the spring action shooters used on the cars. Sue discovered that kinetic movement, like pulling on a string, was a lot more engaging than pressing on a button. We looked at a lot of different trigger options. We looked at levers, we looked at buttons, we looked at all sorts of crazy ideas and really landed on this, this string. You're pulling the string, you're moving the shooter around is you know, a pretty simple thing to do. Completely intuitive and physical. It's something that really pulls you into that world. Each projectile behaves as it does in real life, with hundreds of sensors behind the scenes making this possible. We wanted each of the objects that you shot out of your spring action shooter to be very believable as far as the world of, of physics and logic. And you'll see all of the targets come up in a mechanical fashion. If you throw a ring out in the ring toss game, the ring is gonna land on a flat surface if you miss and go wow, 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 and just stay there. So how does Buzz know when you are shooting at one of his toy soldiers? 90 onboard computers communicate 60 messages every second. Through a series of motion sensors and a specially designed programming language, messages tell the animation where your projectiles are and assign cartoon characters real-world behaviors. Toy Story Mania always knows where you are and what you're doing, and the world is always reacting to everything that you're doing. Lighting and audio, music, the characters, they all know exactly where you are, and they're all playing off your location. All of these technologies are communicating with each other in real time to make that all seem really seamless. The more you ride, the more you discover the layers of secret hidden stories. There are easy targets, there are harder targets, but we also have what we call two-stage targets, where you hit one target and it triggers another target. Engineering high-tech software-based rides has one distinct advantage. They have the capability of being supersized at short notice. If we want to develop a new game offline, we can do our testing offline and then bring it in and install it and, you know, almost overnight, really have a brand new game for people to play. 
The thrill business is facing a rapidly changing world. Riders want to step up from the video game experience they're used to. Designers have to be on the cutting edge of technology to take the crowds to a new level and keep them coming back for more.